Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Now in this video, I'm going to be harvesting seed pods from my Ripsalis bachyfera plant. And this is this gorgeous uh, hanging basket here with a Ripsalis. Then this particular Ripsalis, the Ripsalis bachyfera, is the one that has the lovely sort of long sort of pendant stems, absolutely gorgeous. And it's commonly known as one of the mistletoe types of cacti. And by mistletoe, it's these, the Ripsalis epiphytic cacti that have these jointed stem segments. This is my Ripsalis paradoxa plant, and that's also known as the mistletoe cactus. And uh, also this one here, Ripsalis cassutha, but this is more of a very thinner stemmed one. And in this particular, this is the Ripsalis bachyfera, as I mentioned, but there's a few different varieties of this bachyfera in this hanging basket. I've got about five different types. As I just show you here, this one is more of a thinner stemmed variety again here that's all hanging down like a load of hair. And uh, this one here is, is a bit more slightly thicker variety. This one is more of a sort of clumping um, type of variety. This isn't actually a bachyfera. I've got it here in this hanging basket. It's a different type of Ripsalis. Not been able to ID this one as such but it's a similar variety and then this one here is a, a, the more traditionally seen bachyfera with the the lovely sort of thick pencil-like hanging stem segments that join up just like mistletoe and another thing that why it's sort of nicknamed the mistletoe cactus as well because it forms once the flowers have formed and they and they get pollinated it forms into these lovely little berries here and uh, as you can see very much like mistletoe sort of perfect for this time of year as well as, um, as you can see. And I just want to give this opportunity as well, if you're watching this video, when I'm putting it out, to wish you all a very happy new year. And let's hope that this year will be full of a lot more positive and exciting things for us all. And uh, sending you lots of love and plant power. And thank you all for your amazing support throughout 2020. And uh, here's to big thumbs up to 2021. And good way to start off the year by harvesting uh, fruit berries from this Ripsalis. So this is a bit of a video vlog and also if you haven't seen, I've, I've done a few videos on harvesting Ripsalis seeds so you, this may not be new to you. But if you're one of the recent subscribers, well thank you for subscribing and if you've not seen this before then I'm going to show you how to do it as well. And what you want to do is you'll know when they form these little fruit pods here because they start to resemble very much like almost like miniature gooseberries. And you'll know when it's ready to harvest these when you actually touch them and they feel a little bit soft and squashy. Seed pods, when, when they've got pollinated on, on cacti, especially with these type of epiphytic cacti, can take a very long time to develop. It, can, it depends really on the type of cactus you've got. Some can take a few weeks, some can take a few months, and some can take even longer than a year. These have been forming over the past few months. It's sort of flowers in the spring and lots of, um, sometimes even late winter, and then lots of these little, little um, fruit form there. So as I say, these are pretty much all of these. I, I touched all of these this morning and they're nice and soft. And they should feel a bit like a little soft gray, a grape, exactly the same texture. If you tie and touch them and they feel very firm, then it's best to leave them because best to have them overripe than harvest them before they're ready. But when they're nice and a little bit of soft to them, you know they're ready for the picking. So what I'm going to be doing is harvesting these off and then showing you um, how to harvest the seeds if this is new for you for the first time. And I'm just going to show you another seed pod, one of my other epiphytic cacti, one of my epiphyllums here that uh, is lovely red big red juicy seed pod but it's very very firm so it's going to be probably a good few months before that's going to be anywhere near ready to harvest it's still very firm once it goes a little bit soft then I can harvest that but it just depends as I say on what type of epiphytic cacti that you have with these ripsalis they're known for their little berries so what I'm going to be doing now is picking them off all you have to do is pick them off like you do any type of fruit um, you don't need to go pulling them off hard, you just need to give them a gentle twist like that and it will come away as you can see and uh, that's, so I'm going to be picking all these and I'm going to show you what they're like and how many I harvest um, when I've done them all. There we go, that's all of the lovely, the fruit pods there picked from the, um, the cactus and as you can see lots of little 
little fruit seed pods there packed with seed and what I'm going to be doing then is I've got some dry paper towel here you can use kitchen roll and anything that's absorbent because what I'm going to be doing then is opening each of these little seeds and then spreading the pulp out onto the onto the paper towel letting it dry for a couple of hours and then so so rubbing it so the seed comes away from the from the fruit and then I'm going to be putting it through this little chute and putting it into this little baggie here you don't have to have one of these obviously it's just that it helps to I find direct the seed better into the little bags you can use paper envelopes or anything you can store the seeds if you're not going to be sowing them straight away obviously you need somewhere you can store them and um, to keep them away once the seeds have been uh, harvested keep them away from excess heat and also dampness as well until you're ready to sow them cactus seed can keep up to several years possibly even longer so there's no rush to get them sown straight away so I'm going to show you now how I'm going to be um, separating the seeds from the fruits. Now these are all the little seeds and what I'm going to be doing here is putting these onto here and as I mentioned I'm going to be separating the opening up these little fruits the little berries and spreading the seeds out onto the onto the tissue paper here the kitchen paper and uh, putting the little empty fruit pots away and then spreading the seeds out here and we're doing this with each one as you can see the tiny little berries but there's tons of seed in each little one and these are one of the cactus uh, seeds pods that's very easy to harvest I mean they dry pretty quick on the paper towel as well and just literally put your thumbs in like that pull it apart you want to make sure you're doing this with clean clean fingers too and uh, you don't want to spread bacteria and things onto the onto the seeds and then you spread them out so the tissue paper dries and they're going to do this with all of these seeds now and then wait probably till it's dry it may only be heating's on in the house quite dry here indoors so this will be dry probably in an hour or two and then I'm going to be able to separate these and show you how to separate them off the paper towel onto um, to put them into the little seed bag there's something very satisfying about popping these look at that popping them and all the seed coming out there look at all that lovely seed in the in the jelly fruit absolutely wonderful that's the last one left to do gently squeeze boo, pops out like that and then spread out on the towel and uh, that's all the all the empty um, well there's still fruit in there and these are all the seeds on here and yes cat this cactus fruit the ripsalis uh, cactus little berries they're completely edible um, I wouldn't recommend eating them if you've been using plant bug sprays and things like that on them because obviously you could be ingesting the chemicals but if not um, if you just haven't used any chemicals or you only use something natural like neem you can go ahead and eat these they're actually quite nice they're a little bit sweet a bit like grapes obviously they're very tiny so you'd have to eat a lot of them to get full but they are edible and uh, that's all the seeds. I'm just going to spread all these out now. The quicker they'll dry. And I'm going to leave this now for an hour or two until it's totally, uh, the towel, paper towel is dry. And then I'm going to separate the seeds off the paper towel. Now, here we go. The seeds have been left to dry for about a couple of hours. And what you need to do then is when the paper towel is completely dry, is you just want to very loosely rub your finger over the top of the seeds just so they come away from the paper towel and this will separate them then from any of the um, the pulp that's left and what we're doing then is going over all of these making sure that they all loosen up as you can see there and then I'm going to be putting them then into the little baggie now the seeds all loosened up and what I'm going to be doing here is just gently turn them into most of them fall into the into the middle making sure that they're all loosened up and then the reason why I use one of these little shoots, I mean you can just use your fingers and put them in or you can use a piece of card, a hard piece of card folded over to put them into the little baggies. To stick. The only reason why I do this is because it stops it from going everywhere. But in this case I'm using one of these little little shoots here that I use for making up my aromatherapy blends. And then just want to gently push that all the way through as you can see. Now that's all the seeds there, all um, in the little baggie, January 2021, what a lovely start to the year. Uh, 
to have some lovely mistletoe cactus seeds there. So guys, I hope you found the video useful should you have berries on your Ripsalis cactus plants. And for lots more tips and tricks on how to care for and grow cacti and succulents, then as well as subscribe to my channel, also check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle for a fantastic 2021.